All right, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to replace a leaking faucet at one of your rental properties or your primary residence. As you can see, this faucet has been leaking for a couple of weeks now. You can see the algae building up. It's not leaking a lot, but it is constantly dripping. You don't want this water getting inside of your concrete, cracking your foundation. If it persists, this leak will only get bigger and bigger. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can replace this faucet with a brand new faucet in about five minutes. Yeah, you heard me right. We're going to replace this in about five minutes. So the first thing that we have to do is simple. We have to shut the water off to this faucet. So now we're going to go inside the house and we're going to shut the water off. But if you do not have a shutoff valve inside of your house, you might want to find a shutoff valve that is in the middle of your yard and shut the water to the house completely off. Here you go, mine. But I have a shutoff valve inside the house, so we're going to shut that valve off. But if you don't, this is where the main shutoff valve to the property is located in. So now let's go shut the water off. All right, so there's my shutoff valve for the faucet outside, and all you have to do is close it. It might be a little bit rough, but this will shut the water off to your faucet outside. And now the next step that we have to do is go back outside and let the water drain from the pipe. Let's go. I know a lot of faucets outside. This goes all the way back inside the property and you are able to unscrew it and replace this entire piece. But on this one specifically, it is just a copper pipe that is welded onto another copper pipe. All right, so if I try to forcefully unball this faucet, I will probably crack a pipe somewhere inside of the wall, and then I will be in big trouble because then I'll have to remove the bricks, remove the wall from the other side, and try to fix everything, which will create a way bigger mess. But I ordered this half inch faucet on Amazon, check it out, and it has a shark bite. So all we have to do is cut the pipe right here, clean it off with some sandpaper, and then use this shark bite, and just pop it in place, and we are going to be finished. So now we are going to cut this pipe right here, and we're going to clean it up, and we're going to go to step two. We're going to use this copper pipe cutter to cut the pipe. I will include all the products that I'm using today in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. All right, now let's cut the pipe. What you want to do is get this as close to the outside wall as possible. This way, when you cut it, you will have a ton of space to move around with. And then we're going to spin it around. And after every couple of spins, you want to tighten it even more. This way the pipe gets cut really nicely. And there you go. Now your old faucet is completely off. It just took us a minute to do it. All right, now the water is leaking. The next step that you want to do is get some sandpaper, make it wet. This way we can clean off the edges of the pipe because you want the shark bite to stick as best as possible. So you're gonna, you see how dirty it was? So you want to clean it as much as possible. If you have a really, really dirty pipe and there's some cement on it or caulking or anything restricting it from being clean, you can always use tougher sandpaper. Right here, I got more durable sandpaper, but looks like I won't be needing it because this pipe is starting to look real good. And now we're going to keep cleaning until it is all cleaned up and ready to go. For now, with this shark bite faucet, we are simply able to pop it on and we should be ready to go. This is what makes this job super easy to do and anybody can do it because it is extremely easy. You do not have to solder anything. It is just pop and go. And that is why I like these shark bite faucets. Extremely easy. All right, now we're going to pop it in. You want to make sure this white circle goes inside of the pipe. All right, hopefully this works. Let's do it. All right, so after you push it on tight, it will look like this. And now you have a brand new faucet installed on your property. 
as you can see there's no leakage whatsoever you can also add two screws right here and right here if you really want to attach it to the property but in my case it is on strongly so you do not have to do it and just to prove to you guys that it works i don't want to do it any further or you released a ton of water all right so there you go that is how you install a brand new faucet outside these sharp bite faucets are extremely easy to install all you have to do is cut the pipe clean it a little bit and pop it on and you're ready to go so that is a real easy method that you can use to install a brand new faucet on your rental property or at your house all right everybody if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video peace out